energy bubbles forth from waterfalls and rapids. The energy of a stormy sea is both impressive and frightening, but hard to tame. However, even a calm sea contains enormous amounts of energy. Where fresh water and salt water meet, this potential can be exploited through osmosis, as for example where a river runs into the ocean. A beaker divided into two sections by a membrane, with fresh water on one side and salt water on the other, illustrates the process. As a result of osmosis, the fresh water will mix with the salt water, creating a surplus of water on the salty side. This flow of water can be used to produce power. The force of osmosis can raise the water 120 meters, which is comparable to a huge waterfall. The osmotic power station can be placed near the mouth of a river. The membrane is the key to effective osmotic power production. This plant, where 25 megawatts power is produced, contains 5 square kilometers of membrane. In large plants, they are mounted in rolls and placed on shelves. The pressurized water from the process is transferred to power in a turbine and converted into electricity. Only in Norway, osmotic power has a potential to cover 10% of the total power consumption.